السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته 1982 after I became a doctor having the license I wanted to go back to Egypt to spend my holiday my first visit with my family after leaving Egypt uh, since uh, November 1977 I don't know why I was looking for a place in Europe uh, where to visit some historical old places like mosques and others in order to find the Muslims. Uh, on the map I found uh, Yugoslavia, the old Yugoslavia before the war, which started in 1992, for the division of Yugoslavia into five or six uh, republics. On the way back, I, I, so I took Yugo, Yugo, uh, Yugoslavian airline and on the way back I stopped in Belgrade, then I went to Sarajevo to stay for nearly a week there. The journey was beautiful by the train. The train was not very fast train, very traditional train. And you can see the beautiful mosques on the mountains, on the road, especially when you go to the area of Sarajevo. And I was in one of those small hotels nearby uh, uh, Khosrov Bey uh, Mosque and the uh, historical market uh, of Sarajevo uh, at that time. During my stay there, as I mentioned in a few interviews before, I met one of the students who was studying, I think, PhD, and he came and he started to teach me and to tell me how Muslims have been tortured, put in jail, prison by the communist stroke socialist regime led by Tito. In Egypt, before I came to UK, we used to learn from the media machine of Nasser's regime in the 50s and 60s and even in the 70s about the non-alliance uh, countries, which is uh, India, uh, Egypt, and Yugoslavia. And Yugoslavia is a friend of uh, Egypt, India is a friend of Egypt. And uh, we did not know the other side of the coin, how they treated the Muslim community in India at the time or in Yugoslavia at the time. Till I discovered this when I visited uh, Sarajevo in 1980. And this was an eye-opening experience for me to start to look objectively to the minorities of Muslims who are living, living in Europe and start to be interested in charity, humanitarian and advocacy work. Because before that, I was like anybody, young man, medical doctor, coming to UK to learn, to earn, and go back like any, anyone. My prayers were traditional, my, and I was hunt, all, all these kind of things. I didn't have any intention to do any social or humanitarian or even charitable work. But this was an eye-opening uh, time for me. In 1982 also, two incidents happened. Uh, the one of them is the massacre of uh, the Palestinian in Sabra and Chitila camp, which I reported before, which is another eye-opening factor to be added to Sarajevo visit. The third one was actually the massacre of the Sunni Muslims in Hama, which one of the cities in uh, Syria by the regime in Syria at the time. So these three eye-opening incidents in one year was a heavy dose for me to start to think seriously about my direction and where shall I go inshallah see you in another episode assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh